Why have politicians across the developed West, as it's called, why have they fallen for this neoliberal trick? I hate to say it, but a lot of them are in bed with it. Um, I do actually think that our polit political system generally in the West, is, in a lot of countries, is really quite corrupt. And that the power of lobbies, of business interests, and their relationship with politicians is way too incestuous. I'm very concerned that we seem to be losing the entire concept of civic duty mm. and public service. And that is the legacy of neoliberalism. Once you start saying everything is about individual individuals and their self-interest, then politics also is about individuals and their self-interest, and the self-interest of individuals is about enrichment. That's going to be what politicians are going to be interested in too. So there's absolutely no coincidence that Theresa May has hired a loneliness czar. To be honest, I think this is a sticking plaster. This is what I was saying, another example of what I was saying about concessions, that in a way, rationalising um, individuals shouldn't be lonely, should they? Because they will have rationalised all their personal relationships and they will be perfectly happy. So loneliness is a fault. So we have a concession because people are making us think about it. it sort of, well, OK, we'll make a concession to people who who are lonely. We'll make a concession to people with mental health problems too. I don't think it's any accident that it's that mental health services in the UK are the pariah because that's where, above all, you get this sense that the misfortunes that happen to people, the health problems that people suffer are their fault. Mm -hmm.